Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. Today's video is about something I learned on the dyno yesterday. So yesterday was actually on the dyno, and that was dyno session number six. If you're the videos that I'm that you usually watch on Sundays when I have all the dyno results, those are actually from session five. I haven't even covered all the stuff from session five. Channel members, which I highly encourage you to do, already found out about all this stuff yesterday. Like they already knew all everything that's a five that hasn't even been in a video yet. They also learned about everything that happened in, in session six which there were some really, really interesting things that happened in session six. So definitely an eye opener as far as intake manifolds, how it affects power. Um, I also got to see it, the CNC head ported, the CNC ported versions of these. I got to see how that got to do, but there was one interesting thing that I wanted to show you guys just as like a bonus for you guys. If you want to become a channel member, it's real simple. Go to my website, wengines.com. You'll see a link on the homepage for my online store and you sign up to be a channel member. You get to see a lot of cool stuff, um, really. Uh, like I sent out texts, you get to see a lot of neat stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. It's worth the money. Anyway, um, here's what's interesting. So these are the Promax Project X. These have been on the heads, on the engine, the dyno mule for the last few times. Um, these are completely stock. I know everybody thought, uh, how much power can you make with the Project X 215 stock? Well, uh, the most that this set has made is 626 horsepower, but it was on um, a highly modified 2892 intake. It's really, really, really good though. This thing has made quite a bit of power. So anyway, I just took them apart because uh, I wanted to kind of examine some of the stuff, but I wanted to show you this. So having me out here for display can kind of show you something. So here's one thing, and it's a small thing that was tested on the dyno yesterday that I'm gonna share. So with these heads, these Promax Project X, I think there was a mistake made whenever they're manufactured. And here's what I mean. The head itself perfectly fine, but it was this. These are the spark plug bosses. And I think what happened is they machined this boss too far down. And you're like, so what, what do you mean? Well, what that does is, and I've got a regular NGK spark plug here, so you can kind of see. It's got its little, this is the tapered seat. That's why you see this. Okay, now watch this. I'm just gonna screw it in, I'll show you. I don't know if I can get it to go in. Okay, watch. See how far it sticks out? Quite a bit, right? Quite a bit. Um, that's why I may think that on this backside, they machine too much away, and it causes the spark plug to stick further in the chamber. So whenever I had been dynoing all before, what I had done to correct this problem before I even did even one dyno test was this. This spark plug right here is the same one, but this is an indexing washer, and these come in different thicknesses. And what I did was I put one of these on here like so, and they just go right on. By the way, these don't cost much. So if you're like, well, Promax made a junk head. No, you can really just get these. And I think they're the whole pack is like six bucks or something. And they just go on. Anyway, once you screw it on, if I can get it to go in. What essentially what it does is. There you go. I think I probably got the wrong washer. But now it's almost flush like it should be. So instead of having it stick out all that way, it sticks out hardly any, right? And so the entire time that this head was dyno tested, it was looking like this, okay? Well, when I switched to the new CNC ported Promax heads that had my design, it actually stuck out, stuck out even further. So another 30 thousandths. And part of that's because whenever the CNC program came through, it removed some material there so that it would clean up all the way so people wouldn't see shadows and complain. But anyway, um, so I'd put washers to make it look exactly like this, and I'd been making dyno passes, uh, dyno pulls yesterday. Well, one of the things I thought was, I wonder if it makes more power if it actually sticks out this way. Because there are a couple of thoughts to this. One, if it's sticking out further, it's actually bringing the spark closer to the center of the cylinder, right? So having it closer to the center should be better, right? That's one thing. The other thought is, the further this spark plug sticks in the chamber, the more the actual compression ratio is because it's taking up more chamber volume. So that was the idea. Now, if you're like, whoa, 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 that's gonna make that spark plug cause some spark knock. Remember this engine's only 11, two to one. I would never recommend this on anything nitrous anyway. And it's more just a test to see what would even happen. The spark plug that we used was a seven from NGK, which is pretty cold anyway. And it turns out when you use these washers on them, you remove the spark plug out, it actually makes it even colder. Just, you could kind of tell from looking at the spark plug when it was taken out. Anyway, so the test was simple. Start with this way. Take out all the washers, put it back to this way, and how much power did it gain or lose? Well, it's gonna shock you. Oh, before I go further, I flowed both this both ways on the flow bench. 
Having it like this, where it's just flush with this, actually flowed worse than it like this, which to me was a little weird because I thought, well, I'm blocking more of the flow. No, it actually flowed more like that than it did that. Yeah, I, 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 sorry, it flowed more like this than it did that, which is strange because it doesn't go with any of the theories you would think. Now, how did it do on the dyno? Well, I've got comparison right here. This is the comparison. The black line you see is with the spark plug index washers on. So in other words, it's sitting flush with the chamber is the black line. The red line is I have moved the spark plug closer to the center and it's sticking out further to take up more chamber volume. Yeah, it lost. So having the spark plug stick in the chamber further, uh, sticking out like that, lost power. And this is just an overlay to kind of tell you, it definitely lost more at the lower RPMs and it almost the same at the top but for the majority of the range it lost how much in case you're wondering that lost three horsepower and it lost six foot pounds of torque right through this point right here through the majority is probably around three the point is it's a loss that's an easy way to lose some power so if you have a head that's like this and by the way this is not a pro max issue there are so many different heads that are exactly this way um if you have a spark plug that's sticking in something like this sticking out something like this you need to have it something like that because that will help it make power power. Now, I know some of you are like already want to bash Pro Max. Um, this is probably one of those things that they're going to end up getting fixed, but it's an easy fix for any of you just by indexing washers. I know you're like, well, wait a minute. What about header clearance? If it's in further, it moved the spark plug away from your exhaust header. So when you put the washers, you're now at the same spot it would have been if it had been machined correctly. So it didn't change your headers at all. Matter of fact, if you have to deal with tight spark plug to header clearance, you're going to give up three horsepower, but at least you could get it all the way in. Granted, you're probably more likely to have detonation too. Um, anyway, that's one of the interesting things that was tested. So I thought I'd share it with you because I, it was a, it was a new one for me. I really thought this would actually probably gain power just because it gained some compression ratio, sparks closer to the center. This should be a win. It wasn't. Anyway, guys, remember, I'm no Superman. Please like and subscribe. Sign up to be a channel member. Buy some stickers I tested. I don't know. I'd like to make some money at this sometime in the whatever future. But, uh, guys, really, I do appreciate everyone of you watching. Remember, I'm no Superman. You guys take care.